You guys got service here? Sure do, sir. Got full service around here. Okay, sir, you're all set. They'll help you inside. Nice truck, Daddy-O. Hello, sir. That'll be $2.62. Per gallon? No, sir, that's your total. That's like 19 cents a gallon. What kind of fancy adding device is that? It's a phone. You got change for 100? Sorry, sir, we can't take that board game money here. There's three bucks. Keep change. But, but sir, that's like 68 cents. Yeah, you can have it. Can I, can I interest you in a free map? Have a good day, sir. Yeah, thanks, I think. There's not a lot of sure bets in life, but one thing I put my money on time and time again is trucks. They'll always be cool. When we dragged this 33 Ford out of Brian Bass's shop, we knew we had something cool. We just didn't know how cool at the time. I'm going to call Mater and have him come get it, so you got a lot of to move to get it out of here. That's not part of the deal. I think these guys need to stick around and help me. Oh, no, uh, we're not getting money for that. Our initial plan was to build a functional, period correct shop truck. The first thing we wanted to do was put some power into the truck. So we replaced that old tired motor with a badass flathead V8 that I had laying around the shop. With this flathead V8, we needed to get some carbs over to us that could handle the power. The Strongberg 97 carburetor, well, it did just that. Woo! Now, as far as the exterior of the truck, it looks so cool from the get-go that for the most part, we wanted to keep it just like that. The classic look, but with a touch of hot rod cool. You know, gas monkey style. The original paint, well, it was patinaed to perfection, which took nature years to make. That being said, I wanted to dress up the truck exterior just a bit, so we had a little touch of nickel plating to break up the patina. That combined with the larger commercial headlights we stole off a big truck and the paint we splashed on the wheels, well, this truck's really set off. Keeping most of the original look of the exterior was the right call, but the rest of the truck was a different story. We updated the chassis and interior to make this the most comfortable, badass driving 33 truck around. I've said it many times before, I wish I could keep them all, but I've also said many times before that I gotta sell these cars to keep the business going. So it'd be cool to keep this 33 around to use as a shop truck, but you know what's even cooler than that? A fat stack of cash in my hands. Sorry, monkeys, no 33 truck for you.